How's it going everybody? Texas Man here. I hope you guys are all having a spectacular day. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys really enjoy it. Subscribe if you guys have not already. Also do me the biggest favor of all, hit that bell notification button so you guys don't miss out on future videos or streams here on the channel. If you guys would of course also please head over to Twitch. Follow me there over at Douglas447. Stream there at least once a week, whether it's for Call of Duty, Battlefield, Halo, or Destiny 2. And of course, if you guys would also please head over to Discord and you guys can follow me there and chit chat with me there on a more regular basis at the Texas Man at 6957. And as always, we're going to be talking about positives and negatives, talking about a brand new movie that I got a chance to see over the 4th of July weekend. And I hope that you guys all had a great 4th of July weekend. Uh, I did have a couple videos already pre-uploaded so if you guys missed out on those like i had like a couple things for like halo infinite uh overwatch 2 a couple movie reviews if you guys missed out on those you guys can check them out just go through you know my channel and you guys should be able to find them if you guys missed out i do also have a new playlist for overwatch 2 and i'm going to be constantly uploading that as well also fall guys as well i got a playlist for that so you guys can catch up on any past content you guys have missed might have missed out on during the uh, weekend for the holiday. So this movie is about an hour and 42 minutes long. It is rated R. And the reason it's rated R is because there's a lot of blood and there's a lot of language. There is no sex or nudity whatsoever. It's just blood and there's a bunch of language. So there you go. Uh, the film is basically a new thriller. It's a new horror-like experience. Um, and it follows a 13-year-old boy named Finney and he ends up being kidnapped by this guy called the grabber played by ethan hawk um most famous for doing like tremors and of course the recent moon knight tv show and Finney ends up using this really creepy black phone in order to try to learn from people that the grabber has taken in the past and learn from their mistakes in order to survive and in order to escape the soundproof basement of the grabber this film is directed by the same person that did the film Sinister, uh, Sinister and the original Doctor Strange movie in the MCU, and it shows. I love the very first act. The rest of the movie is good, don't get me wrong, but the first act I really did enjoy the most because it does a great job of setting up the characters, and then the second act it really goes straight into the whole you know, kidnapping thing, and then the third act just goes wild with the kidnapping thing, and the finale kind of got me curious-eyed. Um, I know a lot of people have said that, but I agree with them. The The ending to this film did make me cry a little. And, you know, we don't see a lot of those types of movies. Let's, let's be honest, we don't see a lot of movies that have a first act where they set up characters that are relatable and you care about what happens to them. A second act where it goes into whatever genre it is, horror, action, uh, superhero, western, sci-fi, whatever it is. And then the third act kind of just either is off the rails, nutty crazy, unbelievable nonsense, or, you know, it'll make you cry, or it'll make you have happy thoughts. We, we live in this superhero world, and I'm happy to see a film that's like, it's grounded in reality, and it's a very intense film. It's a very creepy film. And... Except for, you know, the, the language, there is a lot of F-bombs in this film. I won't deny that. Um, so if you're, you know, Oh no, there's too many F-bombs. I, I don't like this movie. This film won't be for you then. <laughs> That's all I gotta say on that. But I think that you should at least watch this film once. Watch it once. I honestly have a gut feeling that this is probably going to become a cult classic in 20 years like when i'm 48 50 people are going to be like hey watch watch the black phone have you seen this before the texas man and i'm like yeah i saw it when it came out 20 years ago <laughs> like oh this is one of those good horror movies and i'm like well to me this is not a horror movie i don't know why people are classifying the black phone as a horror movie there's horror like aspects because you have dead people talking to the living fine that can be classified as horror but this is more of a thriller it's more of a suspense film does finney get out of the grabber's basement does he make it home to his sister and his dad and i, I know i'm not talking too much about spoilers because i want you guys to go see this film for yourself if i talk too much about the actual plot of this movie it will ruin what occurs in the film and i don't want to do that that's how much I really enjoy this film. Is it original? 
No, because I honestly thought towards the end they were going to do some sort of big shocking twist, and it didn't, which I was kind of surprised at. It just, it, it literally, the guy is just, you know, kidnapping children just because he can. He doesn't have split personality disorder. He is not some, he doesn't have a plan. There's no, you know, reasoning behind why he takes these kids. He's just taking them. There's no connection to any of them. He just takes a kid. And while that may sound bull and door, bull, then the boring and dull, it's a great film. And it leads to more intense, creepy moments because you don't know what's happening when you're watching it. So with that, I'm going to give The Black Phone here in 2022 an 8 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys all have an amazing day. I'll see you guys all in the next video or stream. Bye, guys.